the coal mining company promised us jobs, development, and a booming economy. Some of us did get jobs, but life became harder with little control over our daily schedule. And soon, our baby got sick with no signs of getting better. And we weren't the only ones who were getting sick. I had to get to the bottom of this. What I found was a complicated story involving elected representatives and business people working together and changing any law that got in their way. This problem is bigger than me. I knew I had to join with other voices to be heard. They heard me and tried to silence me. And it felt hopeless. The doctors, politicians, the police all believed that the company was only trying to help. Thanks to a network of human rights defenders, I got my freedom back, and my voice is even louder now, because this problem is bigger than our community. It's not just about one coal mining company taking over our community, our health, and our lives. It's how they do it. And how did the people who are supposed to represent us begin speaking for the company and convincing us to trust the company too? It's a complicated story, but one thing is clear. Company profits are being considered more valuable than our lives. So how do we fight for people over profits? The human rights community has started to use the words corporate capture to refer to this trend of corporations taking over our hard-won democratic institutions. Corporate capture happens when companies manipulate our local governments for their own private profit. It happens when politicians favor the corporate donors who fund their campaigns over the people they're elected to represent. It happens when elected officials go on to work for the corporations they used to regulate, and when corporate employees get appointed to public positions. Because corporations understand the power that we have as a community, they invest their resources to convince us that they are socially responsible corporations. Much like with what happened to us here, that mining company opened up a community hospital and donated medicine to distract us from knowing that they're contributing to the cause of our illness. All of this is corporate capture. Together, we must start exposing corporate capture and demand that our governments do their jobs and protect our rights. Do you think you've seen corporate capture happening in your community? Share your story by answering this short survey at escr-net.org forward slash cc.